Who's peeking out from under a stairway Calling a name that's lighter than air Who's bending down to give me a rainbow Everyone knows it's windy Who's tripping down the streets of the city Smiling at everybody she sees Who's reaching out to capture a moment Everyone knows it's windy And Windy has stormy eyes that flash at the sound of lies And Windy has wings to fly above the cloud Above the cloud Above the cloud Above the cloud Yeah! Put it there! Yes! Let's hear it. Here we go, everybody. Four, three, two, one. And Windy has stormy eyes that flash at the sound of lies. And Windy has wings to fly above the cloud. Above the cloud. Above the cloud. Above the cloud. Who's tripping down the streets of the city Smiling at everybody she sees Who's reaching out to capture a moment Everyone knows it's windy Who's tripping down the streets of the city Smiling at everybody she sees Who's reaching out to capture a moment Everyone knows it's windy Who's tripping down the streets of the city Smiling at everybody she sees Who's reaching out to capture a moment Everyone knows it's windy oh, Who's tripping person. down oh. the streets of the Getting city a bit weird. Oh. Smiling oh, at already. everybody she sees do, do, do. Who's reaching out do, do, to do, capture do, a moment do, do, do. Everyone knows do, do, do. it's windy Who's tripping down? Where's this song? Fucking finished. Smiling at everybody she sees. Who's reaching out to catch a roll? Everyone knows it's windy. Absolutely. There we go. That was a nice question for you. Start of the video. Question for you, Pete. Before we actually start, before we what we'll touch later on is what actually is wind. Now, yes. What is well, one thing I've realised now is when you when you apart from what's come what comes out when you your have ass. when you have the realization that the Earth is flat, it makes you question an awful lot of no, stuff. No, when you realise that there's a lot of bullshit out there out in there. man's world, you have to question everything. Everything, absolutely, and you have to even have to question even the the most Very basic, fund, the, fun, the, fundamental things in nature, so. and that's wind. Like well, things like wind. Things like what wind. is wind? Well, what like, is wind? Well, it's like light. How can light be both wave and particle? Nobody knows. Yeah. So uh, no, the, the only people who do know are those who say that light is both wave and particle. But but they don't because it can't be both wave and. How does it become both? Yeah, the, the, yeah. This is the yeah, question that obviously become? Alex wanted answering. So we're actually well, asking. Well, we're is, obviously still waiting. I'm still waiting. Yeah, for absolutely. Answer. But we're actually asking. You know, there must tonight. Be, what is wind? Absolutely, yes. Is wind? Of course. Yes. What is wind? Well, you've got yeah. loads of... Uh, well, there's lots of that kind of wind. But before we start... And lots of people a... are filled with wind and puff. Absolutely. Well, oh, there's right. a lot of globetrotters. Absolutely, yeah. Full of, full of it. But, uh, so, 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 yeah, there we go. Anyway, how are you, Peter? I'm pretty good, thank are you. Are you well? Yeah, I've had quite a productive day today. Good, good, good. Nothing wrong with a productive day. Yeah, you have a, have a sense of achievement. You feel as if you've accomplished something. Well, absolutely, yeah, of course. It's a good feeling. Yeah, but it's it's good when you're doing something that you want to do. Absolutely. Because when you get, agree when with you you get that Couldn't sense of accomplishment, more. achievement, whilst you're doing something that you truly want to do, that's why a lot, that's it's why so much more rewarding. Absolutely. So much more that's beneficial to you, you as an individual. individual. That's why there's a lot of people Whereas out there. when you're doing you do, things for other people, you, you know. don't get any satisfaction. Absolutely. I can't get no... Oh, that should be job the, satisfaction. Yeah, that should be. They should play that in workplaces. 
or that song. I, I can't, can't get, get no satisfaction. satisfaction. Oh, they yeah. should do, yeah. Because yeah. a lot of people don't get a, a lot of satisfaction in their jobs, do they? No, they just go you know, do go to work. No, I've got another. I've got to go to work now. I don't want to they go. go. Go and do their job. Put up with all them people. Go and do their this, that, Try and, and sort out what's wrong with that bloody machine. You and then they go home <clears throat> and they're just glad that they've the Come, day's over. The day's over, yeah. And or the think, day's gone. And, and they've you, missed the yeah, day. And you think, hold on, this, that's a day out of your life. Mm. You can't just say, it's, I'm glad it's gone. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no. Anyway. Anyway. People. Yeah, people. Yes, people. But anyway. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah, I was going to mention, I was going to mention the... Uh, 33, because a lot of people have have oh, uh, yes, this course. thing about Masons and this, that, and the other. The Freemasons. The Freemasons. The Masons are the people who chisel out, carve oh, out. Oh, right, the Freemasons. Gravestones. Well, obviously, they carve stone out work. nothing then, do they? Because they're free. Yeah, I don't know why well, they, they call them Freemasons. They're Masons. Why are they called Freemasons? But their services they? come free. Free? Freemasons. Okay. Maybe they don't charge for their stone masonry work. Probably, I don't know. But there's this thing about 33 is their... Uh, 33? Signif- All the threes? 33. Their, their significant number. And I I thought about it. And I thought, I wonder if it's three three, um, uh, three days that the sun is at its outermost. At the, like, during our, the our winter solstice. solstice. The winter oh, even, and summer well, solstice, well, yeah, three days. The sun stays... At that position for three, three days, days, yeah, and then it rises. And then you've also way. got the moon, the cycle of the moon, the full moon is always ar- up around for three days, for like three the, days. For the full moon. The that phase, days. yeah. That phase, yeah. So it could and be, That's yeah. where they got the 33 from, three and three. So, well, it sounds reasonable, doesn't it? Well, it's, it's, it's it all... Makes common sense, doesn't it's it? It's all encrypted <clears throat> into the world around us, isn't it? Well, the world around us is very basic, isn't it? When you even think I thought about it, I thought about all these... these uh, Nothing com- special about if, life, if, I'm Even I thought, if, if you know everything's bullshit, which you do, and even yeah. I do, you think you, all these occultists who, who, who are into devil worship, yeah, what are they actually worshipping? I don't know. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, all these satanists you know, how can you stuff. how can you conjure up Mind you, saying that though, yeah, go on I did, I did have a, I did have because it could all be down to synchronicity because I did have a, a something happen where I was chatting with, ah, you no, know, yeah, oh, I was, no, I, was, an I, was I was chatting with someone, I was chatting with someone, <clears throat> sort of like relationship po- possibility kind of thing, yeah, yeah, and I kind of knocked it on the head, kind of thing, oh yeah, yeah, and a few days later, yeah, I was out on my bike. Bicycle, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And I came off my bicycle, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wondered whether that related related to... because she may have sort of like thought you you Bastard. thought negatively of me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Karma, karma, yeah. So her, so she put all her bad karma. She put on it like a me. spell on you, yeah, kind of thing. And then that made me have uh, come so, off my bike. So, so when you when you kind of like knocked it on the head, she went home. And she kind of like got this, made this voodoo doll of you, and or yeah, she could have done. Yeah, sat down, lit loads of candles in a room, and sat yeah. in front of an altar, knelt, yeah, in possibly. front of the altar. So all it, the so it, it does actually. All Satan, Lucifer, please come into my life, yeah, and give me the power and the strength to persecute so Peter. It, it does actually make you wonder whether there is some, there is a lot. Of Sorry, there is some truth in it, and it could be quite powerful. Hey, absolutely. Well, maybe you and me should become devil worshippers. Oh, maybe, yeah. 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 We could be part of the Ku Klux Klan, couldn't we? No, I don't know about that. I'm not racist or anything, so oh, yeah. no, that wouldn't work, work or wash. But uh, we could, uh, we could, uh, like, um, we could put spells on people. Yeah, but it's just the same as like um, someone could have a real hatred for someone, oh. and they say, yeah. "Well, there's a lot of hatred about." I wish, I wish, like, I wish they, he was dead. Like your neighbour, for example, you might really detest your neighbour. You think, I "Wish, I wish he'd f- fucking go in a hospital or fucking something would happen to him." Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then lo and behold, next no, thing no, you know, something, something happens. happens to him. Yeah, and you go, "Ha!" Absolutely. Do you know what I mean? But it could have been your. It could have it could have been your your wish or your desire that actually came true. It could that, well be. It was fulfilled. See, this is what science should be looking at. Well, this is what 
<clears throat> Everyone's science, looking at science this kind, should be this, looking this side to life. Yeah, the, this, the, the side to life that we we um, yeah the true aspect of being oh, human. The 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 side to life that where no man has boldly gone before. Absolutely, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. But they, the thing is, they have, they can't use any instruments with it. <laughs> oh, they, well, they can't test anything. They can can't they? test it. They can't. Uh, all they can do is just talk about it. Absolutely. Well, what they can, they can't. So much for yeah. science, eh? They can't even make any instrument. Can, can you can you make a synchronous synchronous synchronometer? Synchronous 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 synchronometer synchronometer. That's the one. Yeah. yeah to test yeah. and measure synchronicity, synchronicity. when it's in the. Ether when it's in, the, it's in the collective consciousness. Absolutely, yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, crazy. Isn't it? Man, man knows so much and yet knows fuck all. Well, just like light and just like wind, it's all wind and puff, isn't it? Yeah. Now, um, anyway, I think anyway, anyway, I've got uh, got to say that I I was watching this uh, video Q and A. Q&A, yeah. Q &A, time travel, teaching, and the meaning of life. life. There you and go. I had to leave a comment because I just thought the video yeah, was absolutely yeah. bullshit. And I put, here we go, let's expand it. Time travel is a figment of the imagination. As so are, as with aliens. Aliens, Bigfoot, whatever. As time is merely the conceptual measurement of motion. Yep, absolutely. In other words, time does not exist. Apart from the word, absolutely. time does not exist. Only all, motion. all you see is motion. Absolutely. People moving around, the sun moving, everything. The moon Everything's moving, in motion. Clouds are moving. Even trees. Buddhism, the Buddhists would agree with that. As yeah. Well. Everything, Mo everything is in constant flocks. Flocks moving. Education is what is left after what has been learned has been forgotten. Yeah. And the absolutely. only things that are worth learning in life are the things we're never taught. Absolutely. Or told. Taught, told. Yeah, absolutely. Meaning of life? Question mark. Well, it's finding true love, having children. And dying with a peace of mind. mind. Life is oh so, so simple. simple. Absolutely. And someone, old Wong here, left a comment. Old Wong? Mr. Wong? Quoted. I saw you, Mr. Yeah, Wong. Quoted, said, life is oh so simple. No, you are. Check it out, mine. In the head. I thought, I thought. So I replied to him saying, thanks for that constructive comment, Wong. Uh, Maybe when you're on your deathbed and look back on your life, you will agree with me then. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So there we go. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, that was quite a good one. That yeah, because time travel is is just bullshit. Absolutely. So how are you then, Pete? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm. I'm very well. Obviously, yeah. Uh, I went to uh, went to a museum the other day. Really? Yeah. Went to see an Did you see any human beings there? Yeah, there were a few human beings there. I did think they were a bit demented, mind you, but uh, you know, it was. Um, yeah. It was uh, it was at the uh, was it uh, Grosvenor Museum. Oh well, yeah, of yeah, all places, there, yeah. yeah. Cold places was the exhibition. Mm. Pictures from the poles. Oh well, right, Sue by Flood. Sue Flood mm. yeah. yeah. Now I went in there, obviously knowing that it's all bo bollocks. You know. Yeah, I know. The poles don't exist and everything. Well, some people go in there thinking that it's real. I know. Yeah. Uh, the international award-winning photographer Sue Flood. Has travelled all over the world. Good for her. But is drawn back time and time again to the epic beauty of the polar regions. This exhibition showcases photographs from her visits to the Arctic and Antarctic circles, alongside Inuit pieces from her collection and a selection of her polar survival gear. Mm. Well, the whole gives a sense of the grandeur, harshness and fragility to be found at the top and bottom of our world. Inside and outside of our world. Yeah, there's still a new respect for the people and animals who live there. Absolutely. Now, um, now I, I, yeah, I, I actually thought the... Um, I like how... I, like I mean, the it. photographs obviously were professionally done, but when you look at a camera, you probably think, well, you, you, how can you not take a decent photo with that camera? Oh, well, yeah, because she's got, uh, she has, but, uh, Sam, she has uh, on here, like, I mean, look at the lens on that photo, on that camera. Yeah, I know. I mean, how can you, how can you, yeah, yeah when, you, when you look at that. Look, look at oh, that. I'll fix on. Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a nice well, little zoom yeah, lens, that zoom is. Yeah, zoom lens. You know, how can you not take a nice photo yeah, of that? Apparently, she that's used, just, that's one she thing used to be a TV producer years ago. 
That's one thing and, that annoys uh, me about that, and that is especially with photography, a lot, especially photography doing animals and in wildlife. Yeah. You only need the equipment. You only need the equipment. And the patience. And the patience. And what That's knowing you knowing a good photograph comes with because using it. You can't control the lighting. Can't control lighting. You can't control the animals' behaviour. Yeah, absolutely. What they do. Can't control the weather. Absolutely. Yeah, you know. But there there were a few uh, were a few interesting uh, uh, I like that. photos. And she's but join the award winning international photographer for tips on framing. <laughs> Well, what's he, I mean, who who can't who can't frame who a can't body frame a, or a photograph a, a picture? I mean, on he's... framing and composition to improve your photography and help you take photos with difference. But how can it's framing just, uh, and, oh, it's just composition probably poo poo. I like how and also she's suitable for everyone with an iPhone. So why do you need an iPhone for? Because she's trying to she's trying to tap into yeah. a certain market to get more money. You see, people attending. Oh right, okay. You know. Yeah. Well, I'm glad. Well, I I, I thought it was okay, yeah, okay but quid, I wouldn't. Seven I, pounds. I, as well. I, I thought it was okay, but I certainly wouldn't uh, recommend anyone go in there because it's did, filled did. with. I saw the uh, there was a photograph of the uh, the icebreaker, the Russian icebreaker that allegedly oh, right, goes yeah. to the North Pole, and I actually found out that there is a South Pole marker, but it's on. Sorry, there is a North Pole marker, but it's on the seabed. But how do you know that it's there? I really don't know. How how do you know that it's there? I don't know. How can anyone know that it's there? I don't know. But one th- a few things that and why put a marker there? <clears throat> I know, yeah, that no one can crazy. see. The surprising thing that I because I I saw the uh, there was a photograph also of the Ross Ice Shelf, which is I think I think it's about fifty feet tall, you know. And when you look at that, you tend to think, well, yeah, it's kind kind of. Um, believable that there is a an ice wall around, mm. which obviously holds all, contains all the water, you know, of the, yeah, of yeah, the oceans. Yeah. But um, you know, I mean, I mean, it's all right, but I mean, yeah. But look at the photos. Yeah. I mean, you, you, but it's all it's all designed and it's all portrayed with the globe Earth in mind. And yet, all these people, a lot of these people going in there thinking, oh, aren't those aren't those photos lovely? No, oh, no. they're amazing! Photos. And yet, you can you can just go online and get images of polar yeah. bears. They even had a stuffed polar Jordan. bear there as well. Can you believe it? And I, when I looked at, it, I thought, what on earth is a stuffed polar bear doing? It? I bet that didn't go it's down. It's a photography exhibition, not a you know. I bet that didn't go down too well with the vegetarians. Oh, probably not. But, yeah, but even yeah. I think why 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 that animal was living. I know, it's yeah. It's been killed. It's, it's absolutely crazy. Just to be transported around museums to yeah. showcase her, to give people the the feeling that they're at the, the South Pole. Absolutely. But uh, they, they were, paint the walls one uh, as well. No, they didn't know. I would have thought I would have thought they'd lay some snow in a case or, you know, in a cabinet, have some snow. This snow is from the South Pole. Well, what they could have done, they could have... What or she should a have block done. of ice. This block of ice no, is no, from no, the North no. Pole. What she should have done, she should have had her exhibition in Morrison's freezer um oh freezer. storage Fe- oh absolutely that's yeah. what freezer she should department. department yeah iceland yeah. oh yeah iceland yeah. Iceland. now iceland see she yeah. that's what she ought to have done yeah she shouldn't have had but, it in the museum um, i i wasn't really impressed with it i mean i thought it was quite it was okay yeah, but the photos suppose. looking but, on the good <clears> side but you yeah, know but look at the photos all, all it is is white who's in who wants to see white but uh, I'm trying to think of the the most important thing. Yeah, the, the only thing that was in the only thing that makes you realise is that isn't it odd that you've got the North Pole, which has uh, this layer this layer of um, ice over the top nice water sheet. surface. Yeah. Okay. And yet, or an ice blanket. An ice blanket. Yeah. And yet, at the south, at the the outer south, or the outer edge, you've got this big, thick, chunky ice wall. It's odd, isn't it? Well, it's odd how you, the, <clears throat> there's more, a lot more ice in the southern. Because area I watched an Eric north. Dubai video, and he he yeah, he mentioned you know the, why? the because, North Pole. There's a lot more flora and fauna during the, the during the summer, summer months, months in at the North Pole. Yeah, and I'm thinking, but it's, there's no land there, is there? Allegedly. No, this is around within the Arctic Circle. Oh, within, within the Arctic, Arctic Circle. Circle. Oh, right. But what that does show yeah. is that the, the sun, it, the Earth is, is flat because you would have the same kind of 
ice wallish fi- fi- features on the on the in the, well, there's on the terrain. Yeah, north would, and south. It would even itself out it because would. the the equator's halfway, isn't it? And the sun moves between the equator annually. Yeah, I know. Um, it so, would just be opposite. The, so absolutely. So. Absolutely, you'd get the same kind of temp- uh, temperatures, climate. No, yeah, cl- climate, and but also you'd get the same kind of land t- topography. Topography, yeah. You'd get the same oh, kind of very, um, very like similar. An ice wall in the in the North uh, Pole. The North Pole, but but the temperatures vary greatly between the the southern, north and south. North and south. Yeah, it's because the the sun during the summer uh, on our summer, it has a tighter. It has a tight orbit, orbit over the which flat means it Earth, can, so it which means up it can warm it up quicker. Okay. Well, it warms up; it's more exposed. Melts it. Yeah, the North Pole is more exposed to the sun, to the sun which, the South which Pole. is conducive with a flat, flat Earth, Earth, obviously. Yeah, not a globe Earth, and not a globe Earth. Whereas Absolutely. if it was a globe Earth, you'd get um, you'd have the same. It would you'd be have the, the same, same top and bottom, top and bottom. Oh, there you go. I feel as if we've we've actually come. Come yeah, but to a good conclusion. There's there. so many things out there where you can think, yes, it is flat. Absolutely, it's yeah. There's just so it's many just things. Crazy, yeah. All these people thinking the Earth is yeah, round. Yeah. They're absolutely demented. Full of, full of shite. Full of wind. Full of shite. Wind. Mate. Anyway, so that was uh, interesting, wasn't, worth wasn't going. it? Yeah, well, worth well, going. well, 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 no. well, the company was nice, I have to admit. Very pleasant company. I think that made it. I wouldn't have gone on my own. Yeah, but people just walk in there, walk around, and just walk out again. Yeah, I know, yeah. Well, in the thing. visitor's book. Oh, didn't you say there was that only they... about four or six entries yeah. per day? Oh, didn't you say that, that there was... Uh, there weren't had... many people going. Didn't you had they had like a scratch and sniff kind of thing? Yeah, oh, right, yeah. No, this was a good one. They had a photograph of Shackleton's cabin. Oh, right, okay, yeah. And they had a... Underneath it, underneath the picture, they had... Like, um, oh, it's hard to describe. They had cabinet. Um, no, they had some, uh, like a, a, row, a row of boxes fixed to the wall. Yeah, yeah. And at the top of the bo- of each box, must have been about five boxes, it was kind of like all joined together. And at the top of each box was a disc with a hinge on it. So you could slide the disc over, and underneath were uh, perforations in the oh, top right. yeah, yeah, yeah. of the wood. So, and, and they, the idea, and the it, idea of it was really was to sniff the odor, the odor, to try and give you a, an idea of what Shackleton's hot was like. Oh right, okay. Yeah, so I was going. <laughs> so they were all different smells. Yeah, they were all different smells, and I thought to myself, well, "That's all bollocks, isn't it?" Yeah, you know I know. I mean? Yeah, yeah. Absolute. How shy. could they capture his smell? Do you know what I mean? How and could it's they just capture his smell? Crazy, isn't it? Yeah, you. you 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 get, well, to be honest with you, because you can't see what's inside, I mean, you don't know what you're smelling. Yeah, it could, could be, be rotten food or whatever. Could be could a be turd. A t- absolutely, could be a turd in one. Well, no, no. none of them actually smell like shit, you know. No, but you <laughs> could have. You could I would have, have noticed that. You could have know. a bit of wood, for example, a bit of wood that's just been a bit of sea wood. Uh, yeah, a bit of driftwood. A bit of driftwood, yeah. Because even the driftwood, driftwood would have its own, bit of old, old timber. Yeah, you know, bit of fluff. You know, <clears throat> bit of bit of rusty metal. But but it's surprising how how you know they need to do all this shite just to make the exhibition look more interesting, believable, believable. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, believable. They even tried on a replica Inuit. Um, Who you like, did? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Oh wow! Tried one on. Yeah, sleeves were a bit short, mind you, but yeah. uh, very flared as well. They were about this long. These, you know. The cuffs oh, right. are really wide. Reminds me of a Chinese yeah. person. Yeah, a Chinese yeah. person. I was right. quite tempted to walk out wearing it. Actually. Oh right, well, yeah. Yeah, well, it's better than probably the Roman garb. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, mm. sure. But uh, anyway, anyway, so if you if you are in Chester and you and you want um, want to go and see you wanna, floods, yeah, you want you've got to spend you've got yeah. time to spare. Uh, don't think, go. Don't and, bother. Don't bother with uh, Sue floods. Exhibition you can just get, uh, yeah, images online. Cold places. Absolute crock of. Well, yeah. That's all right. yeah, but the thing is, humans are only oh, my cup of tea. humans are only suited to warm climates, temperate climates. Well, even <coughs> excuse me, that's even why, uh, Inuit people they they don't live in that. They're the climate. They're from the north, but it's not that cold, is it? 
Well, it's probably quite nice in the in, in the, the summer. It's summertime, it's and quite you get nice. twenty four hour sunshine in the north. Absolutely, yeah, of course. Yeah. So there Certain you go. Areas, obviously, but mm. uh, anyway, moving on, moving on. Russian vids. Yeah, Russian vids. Now I do like. I've watched a few Russian vids videos, and one of the best things that I that's come out of his videos for me is the saying, which goes something like, um, "People." People prefer the dream because they don't like the reality mm. or something like that. He says, yeah. and I, that is so true. true. It is mm. unbelievable. And to be honest with you, I've been talking to a few people. Because oh, you and me are getting into that one, by saying, you're just living in fantasy. Yeah. Right? It's just a dream world. A, a long time ago, somebody said to me, oh, you, you, you live in fantasy, like dreamland, she said to me. Sounds like an amusement park, doesn't it? It does, actually, doesn't it? But then I, now I'm beginning to realise that there's a lot of people I, I work with, I socialise with... Who are exactly the same. Who are exactly the same, who yeah. live in dreamland. Fantasy land. Fantasy land. Yeah. Whether it's they, 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 they think they love their partner when they don't. They think the earth is round when it's flat. Yeah, they think... They think, they think their politicians work for them when, when they, they don't. don't. They think they'll get a pay rise. They think they get a pay. They think they're well liked, but they're not. Um, what yeah, else? Know, yeah, you know. They think their partners true, uh, tr um, honest and trustworthy when they're not because they're shagging <laughs> their best mate or whatever. Yeah, you know. I mean, to be honest with you, a lot of people don't like the reality, and uh, Russian vid certainly puts hits the nail right on the head with that saying that he. He, he says so mm. top marks for russian vids yeah on that one but anyway uh, moving on again moving on to moving on to wind wind yes. uh? was that you no 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 it wasn't uh? me. wind wind yes now well i've often thought could well you came up with this and asked what causes wind yeah what causes it what Do causes I mean? it i mean we get blown about all over the place don't we yeah, I know. You could have trees that root. Or we could just sit there and just feel the buildings a gentle breeze, brush our hair, and, then and the, the fine downy hairs on our yeah. skin. And this is irrespective that the earth is spinning, isn't it? Well, it doesn't matter if the earth is spinning. You can still have a gentle breeze. Absolutely. Or you can have 200 mile an hour winds. Absolutely, of course, yeah. So uh, anyway, we've got this page up on Wikipedia. So wind is the flow of gases on a large scale. On the surface of the earth, wind consists of the bulk movement of air. We don't need to go into outer space. <clears throat> but what the cause? What's the cause of wind? According right. To this, okay. Now, according to this, uh, causes of wind. There causes of wind. There we go. Wind, wind is, is caused by differences in the atmospheric pressure. When a difference in atmospheric pressure exists, air moves from the higher to the lower pressure area, resulting in winds of various speeds. So then the pressure must be <clears throat> variable then. On a rotating planet, <laughs> air would also be deflected deflected by the Coriolis effect. Yeah, deflected, yeah. Absolutely poop, a bit huh? like a football when you kick it and the goalie gets deflected. Oh, it swerves. Oh, yeah. no, it deflects off a defender. D off a defender, yeah, a bit like that. Yeah. Except no, exactly you, on no, the equation, you, of course. Because you can actually <clears throat> see it. We can observe you that can deflection. You can observe that deflection, whereas... Because it's a... And it's relevant to the to the ball itself. Yeah. And you can see all the bits. But with the Coriolis effect, for example, you get two blokes just on this roundabout swing thing. Yeah. Rotating throwing a ball platform. Just to try and demonstrate what they're just demonstrating. Sorry, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Could be very good magic show that is. Yeah, they might as well kick a football, might they? Absolutely. Globally, <coughs> the two major driving factors of large scale wind patterns, the atmos atmospheric circulation, are the differential heating between the equator and the poles. There you go. Difference in absorption of solar energy leading to buoyancy forces, forces. Mm. and the rotation. <laughs> well, there's no rotation of the planet. Yeah, but all I'm all I'm anyway. All I want to focus on is what causes wind. wind. Now, well, they're saying it's the atmospheric, atmospheric pressure. pressure. 
Okay, so so but you can go out one day and it's calm, very calm. You can't even feel a breeze on your face. Absolutely. Whereas yeah. one day, some day, you can go outside, you can get blown off your feet. Absolutely. You know, we've all seen videos of the old lady with her shopping trolley coming back from the supermarket. Oh, oh it's right, a bit yeah. windy out here. Yeah. All better put me air net on. Oh, I've got it all. Oh, right, and the stockings. I've gone over. I'm on the floor. Help me. Oh, my milk's gone for a burden. Oh, no. But uh, it's it's bollocks, isn't it? When you really do think about it. <clears throat> no, let's, let's apply some some kind. Okay, of, before I say it's bollocks, let's let's apply some <clears throat> some logic. Some logic, yeah. Now, now, man cannot create wind. Uh, well, he can naturally, with a naturally <clears throat> with a wind generator. No, but oh, but he's <clears throat> he's he's able to control. He is a, that a wind generator? Yeah, a fan. For well, example, he can't. He can't. Rotate and provide a constant he, flow. Yeah, he can't, using a high pressure, by creating a high pressure and a low pressure, man, as far as I'm aware, cannot create the wind that yeah. we witness and observe yeah. and all, experience in our all lives. Men, like if, we had a, <clears throat> if we had a movie set somewhere, we wanted to film I don't know, a, a romantic couple on a windswept uh, pier, for example. Yeah. yeah, for example. They'd use a turbine. They'd use a, big a fan. fan. Absolutely. They wouldn't use high pressure and low pressure. No, they wouldn't. They wouldn't use high pressure, low pressure. Absolutely. So man cannot <clears throat> create wind. Now, <clears throat> another good thing to think about with high pressure, low pressure uh, weather patterns is that they they um, they span a, a large area, don't they? Absolutely, yeah. High yeah. pressures over, they can cover a whole country, high pressure. Yeah. whole country, whether it's big or small, you know. So that's one thing to take into account. And yet, and yet... You still get variable winds. You still get winds. variable winds. What I can't <clears throat> work out is how is it possible that you can have a high pressure and a low pressure that can cause or generate... A force. A force strong enough to create like 100 mile an hour winds. Oh, no, yeah. It's... Uh... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it seems, especially when you can't feel that pressure exerting on your body, body or that pressure change. I mean, if I'm in a, if I'm, if there, if I'm, if there's a low pressure over where I live, and then the next day there's a high pressure, would there be any difference apart from the temperature? No, there wouldn't. No, I wouldn't but feel any. Th- this this goes back to, and you can get the wind whether it's a high pressure or a low pressure. Yeah, this goes back to my my the view on a barometer. Mm. Well, what I was going to do, they, that's what they use to measure yeah, pressure. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Air pressure is a barometer, but I'm sure that if you actually think that a barometer is only a, a, a thermometer with a different scale, yeah. That's all it is, because well, it's just measuring temperature. Well, if we look here on measurement, because when you can measure something, at least you know that you can provide some kind of uh, some kind of well, it's like if it's, general. It's like winter you know, time. It's like winter time, for example. Yeah, you, could, you could live in you could live in a, a home, and you've got a, your barometer, your prize barometer on the wall. Yeah. And you've got your central heating on, so the temperature in your in your house is very constant. Yeah. So how does the barometer, barometer know, know that you've got a low pressure? That you've got low pressure coming, or that you've got higher pressure coming? When the air within the room remains the same, remains constant, yeah. remains constant. No, yeah, it doesn't make sense. And you've got the ceilings, you've got the walls yeah, we, to protect yeah. you from the <clears throat> let's, external. Let's, sure, let, but let's get back to that. Um, with wind, anyway, with the, with the wind, the, the, the only way they measure it, wind direction is usually expressed in terms of... Yeah, direction. they use an... an uh, um, weather vanes, an they go, weather, at airports, wind socks indicate wind direction. Yeah. And can also be used to estimate wind speed by the angle of hang. Uh, that's a cup type anenom- anemometer. anemometer. With vertical axis, yeah, so it's just a it's just a cups <coughs> that cups that spin, spin, around, spin around. around. Uh, what else but they do they just use? measure wind speed uh, to, to to determine winds aloft? 
Law Lawinson's determine wind speed by G GPS. No, I don't know. <clears throat> radio <clears throat> navigation or radar tracking of the probe. What probe? Uh, I don't know, but all all they measure yeah. all they measure is wind speed. Alternatively, movement of the parent weather balloon position can be tracked from the ground visually using theodolites. Yeah, that's probably they just send up a, a balloon a and balloon just monitor just, its its speed. Its speed, or you know, it's a motion. In motion, the yeah. Sky. So then they can determine. Oh, look, it's, oh, oh yeah, it's, that's then definitely a strong determine. wind there. Well, yeah, the, the wind. <clears throat> so, so all they do to measure wind is its speed. Absolutely. So they don't measure its, its force. They don't really measure the force of the wind. They really. calculate it, though, they, don't they? They calculate it, yeah, because um, if we go back up to... No, no, it was here, wasn't it? Yeah. It causes the wind. Differences in atmospheric so pressure. pressure. Now, if you go on that link, you'll get up to this page. Pressure gradient force. The pressure, gra pressure gradient force. The pressure gradient force is a force which results when there is a difference in pressure across a surface. Mm. In general, a pressure is a force per unit area across a surface. Yeah. A difference in pressure across a surface then implies a difference in force. Yeah, well, that's common well, sense, isn't it? Uh, which can result in an, in an acceleration, according to, believe it or not, Newton's yeah. second law. Yeah. If there is no additional force to balance it. The resulting force is always directed from the region of higher pressure to the region of lower pressure. Okay. Yeah. Where's uh, all the, the experiments to, now, to determine this? Well, these are just calculations. You haven't got much on it. It's a bit like yeah. the inertial frames of reference page. Yeah, I know. It, where, it's just where's, there. Where's the, given where's you're, the you're experimentation? You accept all this stuff. Where's the experimentation of low pressure, high pressure always goes to low well, pressure? Well, the pressure gradient force. Where is the, the evidence it actually exists? Absolutely. There, there isn't, isn't any. And all they have is a formula. Oh, well, we've we found a pressure gradient force. Well, okay, well, where's your evidence that it, there is such a thing as a pressure gradient force? We can measure it. No, we can calculate it. We can't measure it. No, oh, that's what I'm saying. The, you know, if it was real, we'd be able to measure it. Absolutely, they'd be able to have a they'd be able to have a a, a certain device, a pressure yeah, gradient, gradient forceometer, forceometer, yeah, or new pressure gradient newtometer. Isn't it strange? Isn't it strange talking about force? Isn't it strange that they never have any equipment? Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah. there's not one piece of equipment that measures a force. Um, somebody would argue you've got spring balance that has that would measures weight. That measures weight, doesn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> Forces are all calculated. What about if you have? Yeah, it's got you, hasn't it? That, that? has got me actually. Yeah. yeah, force. How do you actually measure a force? force. You don't. They calculate. Mm. It's all done by calculation. I'm, no, I'm trying to think. Well, centrifugal force. You can't really. Oh, you can't measure centrifugal force because I haven't got a cent centrifuganometer. Absolutely, yeah. You can't measure a force. You can't even measure a force. That's a good... Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I like good, that. Good, Unless, uh, of course, you we've uh, missed out something. Or Well, if anyone's listening, perhaps they might want to... Uh, yeah, if, if anyone's listening and they've got, they've got, uh, I don't know, centrifuganometer... Or, or, a, uh, or a gravitometer. Fictitionometer. Yeah. For those fictitious forces. Yeah. Please let us know. Yeah, let us know. Yeah, let us know. And, uh, but you'll find a lot of forces are calculated. Yes, yeah, because... For, but what, <laughs> what is a but what is a force? They don't know. What is a force? They don't know. Well, what, it's what's energy? Mind, well, in my, in my mind, a force is mass in motion. That's what a force is. It's a mass in motion. Oh, right. It's... Yeah, so you can measure it. You can measure. You can measure the mass in so motion. So you can calculate it. Oh, you can calculate it. But you can't measure, measure it. Oh, oh, no. What oh. If, like these crash test dummies. Crash test dummies, yeah. This car comes yeah. along and it hits yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. They, need, they can measure the impact. But how do they measure the impact? Well, they could use um, a counter balance that's on springs or something that's yeah. on springs so when it hits yeah it forces the 
I don't know, the barrier back into the... And they measure the distance. And they measure moved, it. But the then distance. they have to calculate it. Yeah. They can't measure, measure a, a force. force. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody can measure, measure a, a force. force because forces, in certain respects, are not real. In other words, the, the whole science, scientism's understanding of the world with forces doesn't work. Work. Yeah. Because they can't prove that forces actually exist. exist by measuring, measuring them, them directly. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, but it's like if you oh. if you observed a car rolling down a hill. Yeah. And it hits a tree, for example. Yeah. You're only observing that car rolling down the hill and hitting the tree. Absolutely. You're not observing the force. No, you're not observing. Well, a force you can't really observe, can you? Absolutely. What about um, what about if you have the, the, the opera singer? Soprano and she breaks, shatters glass with a high note. Oh, with the oh, oh right, yeah. Surely there would be a force acting on the glass to shatter it, but you can't see it. You could see the effects Effects of it, it, but you can't see see the the force. force. Absolutely. So all these people who watch Star Wars and the life force. Yeah, may the force be with with you. Absolutely. The the force is never with you. Because you can never see the force. You can never observe the force. So the force can never be with you. You can only see the effects of what could be a force. Absolutely. I know, yeah. It's the same with gravity. There we go. There's not even a gravitometer. So anyway, so wind. I'm I'm like thinking, (laughs) what, what causes wind? I well, just can't accept that it's pressure. How, how, how does I, pressure do it? How how can how it, does it do it? How yeah. can it account? It's a bit like asking how can light be both wave and particle. Well, how can a light wave generate a light particle? Yeah, how can or it? create a light particle? Yeah, how how can it? And we're back on the same kind of uh, question. Line of thinking. Line of thinking, line of thinking line of especially with wind. Yeah. How does wind? Come about. How yeah. does what creates wind? And what are the mechanisms involved? What are the mechanisms involved? Absolutely, because you might find wind is a natural phenomena that is that has always been prevalent over the earth, mm. and it just moves around, never dies out. It's like a living kind of like you know, entity, entity in itself, and it just moves over the earth. That's why you get windy days, and you get. And it follows Not certain so, routes. Might fo- follow certain routes, like, like the trade, trade winds, winds yeah, and all this yeah, lot. Yeah, yeah. Blah blah blah. It could be could be that. Yeah. I mean, who knows? Who I mean, knows? I don't know. But it's mm. certainly not down to the pressure gradient. Yeah, because there's got to be some some other things <clears> involved. <throat> yeah, because the pressure gradient force is a load of bollocks. Absolutely. Yeah. Anyway, should we go and move on to barometers? Well, no, because I've mentioned about barometers, and I. Because I, I just, well, we I just got this. I <clears throat> just one thing that it doesn't take into account yeah, with these uh, barometers, and that's temperature. Yeah, it says here on this page, barometers, atmospheric pressure. Oh, oh it oh. says look, even though temperature can have a large effect on pressure, the barometer is not troubled by this since the air inside and outside the barometer are at nearly the same temperature. But how do they know that? How do they know that? How you need a thermometer that? inside that. Uh, internal glass that big glass yeah sphere you need a you need to, to measure that you need to measure that but so temperature it, does i re- temperature <coughs> does have a significant yeah impact because it says well, i think we should recap because people weren't listening but a barometer measure uh, allegedly measures changes in air pressure however do you make that image bigger the the barometer the barometer bum 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 the barometer, or, the trouble with a barometer is that it cannot isolate air pressure or single out air pressure in order to measure it, to be, you know, hmm. it can't do that because it has to take into account temperature. Yeah. And like you've said, if you've, if you've got, if you've got it's your house. sealed. It's got, in a sealed. <clears throat> well, if you've got your barometer on the wall and your, um, your heat, you've got heating on and it's, you know, winter time and you've got a low pressure outside. Mm. How on earth does that barometer record or tell you that the, um, there's a low pressure outside? 
Yeah, I know. I agree. It's, when it's... the air circulating the barometer is warm mm. and would reflect a high pressure. Yes, it I would. I would imagine. Yeah, it would, yeah. Because yeah. it's dry, very dry. It's um, it's nonsense, really. Well, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make does sense, it? does it? But I do know you can make your own barometer, a very simple barometer, just by having a glass. A jar. A jar. And you put some, say, tissue paper over the top with or an something. elastic band. So it's, yeah. you've got like a drum over the top. Take or the lid off. flexible obviously. over the top. <clears throat> and then you stick a straw to it. Hmm. And you put your, you can put your gauge up next next to it, have it standing up, and then you can watch the, all your the straw end the end of the straw go up and down. Yeah, but all that's happening is that the air inside the jar is contracting and expanding. Yeah, now this to is the heat. Absolutely. Now this the is temperature. This is something that barometers don't take into account, and that is everybody knows that materials will expand and contract due to temperature. Yeah. So the liquid, for example, inside this... Um, will expand at a different rate than the air. Will expand at a different rate than the air due to temperature. temperature. Which And if it expands, it's going to raise the height of the liquid through that um, vial there. Yeah. Or leading drop. up to the top. Or if it contracts, it will drop. Yeah. So temperature does affect barometers. So barometers are bollocks. Yeah, I mean, I, I used to go around people's houses and I used to see the barometer on the, on the wall and I'm thinking, what, what on earth have they got that on their wall for? Yeah, I know. You know, why? They've only got to look out the window. They got Absolutely, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm surprised they haven't got a rainometer, you know, rain predictor. Well, they may as well get you people know. doing the rain dance, might not they? They may as well. It's, it's absolutely uh, stupid. It really is. But, uh, but yeah, I, can't, I, I can't reconcile... The barometer yeah. is not affected by temperature. Absolutely. And barometers, like I've said uh, uh, before, and that is barometers cannot isolate pressure alone. alone. They they can't take out temperature. So it's a, it's not a very good um, method in which yeah, to... Yeah, because, because like you said... Test, you, measure, air pressure. Because, like you said, you would notice... If the air pressure was different, that would cause a calm day as opposed to a day where it's very, very, very windy. Absolutely. You, you would notice that air pressure. Absolutely, that difference. yeah. Yeah, I know, yeah. But you don't. Yeah. You don't. It's, 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 just it's, it's all bullshit. bullshit. Yeah. It's all a concoction. The only thing you notice is the wind. It's, it's windier. It's windier, yeah. Absolutely. But the pressure's the same. If you only notice what you experience. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah, of course. Because you can get a, a, a windy day even on a hot, sunny day. I know, yeah. And you can have a windy day on a very, very cold day. Yeah. Absolutely, when there's a, a low pressure. pressure. Yeah. Yes, I don't know. Anyway. anyway. Anyway, and just the to, last just little, the last one, I think yeah. the last bit, we now we did... Um, South Pole. Yeah, we did a, v a video um, on the South Pole. On the South and Pole, you, you, we've just you've just come where, up with where the, we looked at the South Pole station, didn't we? Yeah, we looked at Amundsen and Scott. Amundsen and Scott. So it was um, a load of poo poo, and you've just found something that yeah, I, I really missed out on the does really sink this in the freezer. Yeah, something. because I firmly think that Scott and Amundsen never went to the South Pole. Well, let's 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 the South Pole doesn't exist. Well, let's let's. Um, Go back to let's revisit go, this mega let's go, video. Yeah. <clears throat> New South Pole station. Now, let's just let's just watch. Listen to this. Okay, so you see people with duct tape from their cheeks across their noses all the way across to the other side. Decided to try it. It works great. But the workers here are a tough breed. So tough they can forget to come in out of the cold. To avoid frostbite, every ninety minutes they must take a compulsory now, break. These are the words. Hold on, hold on. Let's, <clears throat> let's reiterate what it says. Every, to prevent frostbite. frostbite, every worker has to come in from the cold every Eight, 90, 90 minutes. minutes. And that's and compulsory. compulsory. Yeah, now, <clears throat> these are the workmen that are building the, the like steel frame. Extent, extension on the uh, South Pole station. So, hold on. So, 90 minutes, that's an hour and a half. 
90 minutes. And yet uh, and Scott, um, Scott sc- travelled, uh, well, he would have travelled 1,800 miles, 900 miles there, uh-huh. 900 miles yeah. back. And that would have taken him a good, probably a week, I'd imagine. I can't reckon Nine so. minutes coming from the cold to prevent frostbite. I can't. And they've got all the proper clothing. The clothing's... Uh, yeah, got, they've, got, they've, they've got probably really good clothing. clothing yeah. keeping warm. I can't reconcile how these workmen, okay, have are only allowed to be out working on of working on the structure for ninety minutes. Then they have to come in, and it's alleged that Scott and Amundsen both went to the South Pole way back in nineteen hundred and eleven. Yeah. yeah, it's bollocks. And didn't get frostbite and have their fingers fall off. And even Amundsen was able to put his tent up. up. Yeah, I know. Uh, you know, it just doesn't he, make he, sense, he does probably, it? He probably took his... It's crazy talk. He probably, he probably took, took his uh, swimming trunks and went for a little... A little dip. You no, know, washed himself with the snow, washed himself. Absolutely, you know. yeah. I mean, oh, it's crazy, isn't it? It's a good way to clean, clean isn't but it? it? But it, it, it's, it's further, um, further information that supports... Um, the, that this was this the, this is Scott all and Amundsen South it's just Pole a story. It's just a story. story. Nobody's been there. Nobody's been there because there isn't anywhere to go. Because there isn't a South Pole. Pole yeah. That's why it's, it's too cold. Simple. It's too cold. And I reckon the further you go out, the colder it gets. The colder it gets. Absolutely. Yeah. The colder and colder and colder it gets. It gets yeah. Yeah. Mm. So it looks like the globe earthers are in for a big trouble yeah. in little China. I don't know. I don't know. There we go. When are these people going to learn that the yeah. Earth is flat? Yeah, and uh, they're really just, they're too scared oh, go on, of the it. reality. But, yeah, Russian vids go on. And they prefer the dream. They prefer the dream. Rather they really than, don't want to dislike the reality. Because they really dislike the reality, yeah. yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Anyway, I think that was a good little uh, good little uh, video. Yeah, that was quite that a good, was, that good was okay. uh, thing. Pointing out, I know, but the, the mega, the mega that that's, I mean, that's, I mean, it's all, it's, uh, it's uh, oh, I can't remember. said that it's all on raised pillars, they can jack the <coughs> whole building up, yeah, when it because, would have been because of the snow. And yet, I think, no, 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 you look at how big that building is, look how many pillars there are, yeah, jacking that up would I know, be yeah, quite sure, a big yeah, they, they mentioned it when let's have a little look, they may as well get a snow plow. And just push all the snow away from underneath. <laughs> well, they could do that, yeah. But yeah. they're only allowed out for ninety minutes, so you know, and that's the that's the workman, you know. Mm. It's probably because and oh, that's on because a good day as well. Oh right, yeah, that's, that's, on that's on a good day as well. Yeah, the the pillars, it's uh, there. You can see that uh, they're the pillars. I'll just play this a little bit. The building will sit atop reinforced steel columns, almost four meters high allowing the snow to pass freely underneath and preventing drifts from building up and burying the station. The walls themselves are angled. Like aeroplane wings, they will force air passing beneath the station to increase in speed, blowing any settled snow away. And the structure will have another fail-safe mechanism to protect it from the elements. Although the Antarctic receives just yeah. 23 centimetres... to put bulldozers just to... Just to push the snow away. Push the snow away. Collects underneath. Yeah, it does make you realise that they don't, they don't need all that. No, no, no. So hold on. Those please. stilts, as it yeah, were. Yeah, hold on. ...of snow each year. Well, the, the telescopic stilts. ...at these temperatures, it will never melt. So when the snow finally does reach the floor line of the new station, the building can be jacked up an additional four metres. And not just once... But twice. How, this innovation will the give the new Amundsen Scott South Pole Jack Station a lifespan of oh, forty-five it years. It's um, it, it's. You know, <sighs> you think the number of pillars on there, and they've got their because there's no. It's not as if they've got telescopic legs going through the building. Yeah, the yeah they're probably. Oh, I'm not sure, but well, they they, they could be. Uh, let me think. They'd have to they'd clamp get, on. They'd get thinner. The higher it gets, the the legs yeah, would get thinner. But they'd have to clamp because they're obviously inside. They'd each have other. to clamp something that on. Makes sense. Each leg, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. yeah, that could then cut through the leg. 
Yeah, because they look solid to me. Those steel yeah. legs, they look solid. But to cut through that and then be able to take the weight of it and all raise it up, a bit like uh, that those cranes, construction cranes, how they get built. Yeah. A bit similar to that. But they'd have to do that <sighs> with all those legs. Well, um, I think your point was and to side side is how on earth... Just, uh, how on earth they can get the, the, that to raise evenly throughout and evenly all of those well. yeah. those legs is uh, temperatures as well. You could get one motor that considering that they are building this allegedly in temperatures that are like minus forty five, minus thirty, minus twenty. I mean, you know, if it, if they were doing it in like I don't know Tokyo or. Some place like that, yeah. Then I can, yeah, possibly. Yeah. I can think it's doable, but I mean, in those conditions, conditions and everything, yeah. you know, Sorry, it'd be a lot easier just to get a snowplow out and yeah, just clear on, the Jim, snow. Get out of there. It's your turn. I did it last week. Yeah, because that's that's why on that snowplow. Move the snow because they've on designed now. it in such a way that they can get a snowplow in in and, in and around. They've yeah. only done that just to make it look as though it's high tech. Absolutely, yeah. The 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 man is. Superb, superb, yeah, superb. His knowledge, yeah, but it's just man, human, man knows everything. Yeah, we know how the universe works. We know how the earth was created. We know everything. Yeah, because that building will only last another. And yeah, we they know fuck all. That building will only last twenty Tw- years. Twenty years, absolutely. And then they'll build another one. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because the the other the dome one, now that's already become um, obsolete. Obsolete, that is already. Yeah. You know, it's crazy. All, all, all. At the end of the day, the South Pole is it's just it's just bullshit. And all these stations that are are allegedly at the South Pole are just somewhere on the outer rim perimeter perimeter of the flat Earth. Yeah. Somewhere located somewhere. Yeah. somewhere. Yeah. And that's that's it. Well, we well, you know, can probably be rest assured that it's probably somewhere south of New Zealand, Australia. Yeah, sure, because it's uh, because they they've got the land. It wouldn't be Argentina because they haven't got the land, have they? No, no, they haven't <clears> got <throat> the yeah. Absolutely. Did you know one thing? I found out today, and that is, did you know the Falkland Islands actually yeah. celebrate once a year Margaret Thatcher Day? Really? Yeah, they do. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I'm really pleased I don't live on the Falkland Islands. Why do they do that? Because obviously during Margaret Thatcher's tenure, they went fought 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 over the Falkland Islands with why, the Argentinians. Yeah, but why celebrate Margaret Thatcher? Oh, because they're demented people. Yeah, doesn't they're make that doesn't make yeah. sense, does it? They should just have a Falkland Islands day, shouldn't they? Really, when you think about yeah, it. Yeah, probably the Malvinas. I don't know. They but celebrate the Malvinas. It's all it's all bullshit. When you start, when you get to a point in life where the earth's flat and you begin to realise that a lot of people are full of shit, you begin to realise there's loads of bullshit out there. Absolutely, absolutely. Anyway, anyway. on that note, on that note, I think we'd better fox Oscar. Oscar. Yes, absolutely. We've got things to do, Places people to, to see, and uh, people to annoy, dreams to experience. Oh as yes, well. lots yes. of dreams. Lots of dreams. Dreams. Yeah, but okay, I won't be me. dreaming about the flat earth. Uh, the Globe Earth. The Globe Earth, that's for sure. No, so no. I get those mixed up uh, quite often, those. Well, you can I understand. Say, when you know, I say flat Earth, but I really mean Globe Earth. You can really understand why people think they've been abducted by aliens. Because it's, it's just in their heads. It's, it's just a dream. It's just a dream, yeah. So yeah. many people live in the dream. Dream world. They, they're living the dream, aren't they? Yeah, they're living the dream. It doesn't matter whether it's the American dream or whatever dream. Yeah. But they're living, living the, the dream. dream. Yeah, they think the world's round, it's spinning. We have got a big universe. Th- yeah, that is the dream, baby. Yeah, this is the dream we're going to give to you. Yeah, so you can live out your whole life, life. in a dream. In a dream, yeah, yeah, dream world. You Fantasy, can go yeah. to work, read your papers, watch your TV, and live in that dream. And all the time you're doing that, your life's passing you by. Your life's passing you by. Your wife's shagging behind your back. Your kids aren't talking to yeah. you. And you, your you, family's broken yeah. down. And then you think to yourself, "Fucking one day, bollocks." <laughs> oh no, one day you end up with dementia. Absolutely, yeah. And yeah. then it's too late. You can't it's do anything late, about yeah. it then. Uh, Never mind. Anyway, pe- people will learn. 
Yeah, they all learn. Yeah. Truth will out, as Shakespeare allegedly once said. Yeah. Absolutely. And on that note, always remember, if something doesn't make sense, it's nonsense. Cheers, Pete. Bye. Don't know.